try this again. The last time that we did this, I had the camera facing down, so I apologize for that. <laughs> so basically everything that you saw was facing down. By the time I was doing the video, I just, uh, I was like, oh man. So I want to see if this video is going to come out better. <laughs> it's kind of raining now. know what's wrong with that guy <laughs> I think he was following me you have to be careful don't go out too far of uh, of your neighborhood I think he probably thought that I was like kind of suspicious or something I can understand that this is a very quiet neighborhood I would think the same thing, although I wouldn't go f following people. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes you get some crazy people around. You know what? I think this is a good, a good time for me to turn around. Pretty sure I'm going to see that guy maybe turning around or waiting for me at the end. so I put the, the light uh, a little up to see basically I, I put it down because I wanted to see if in the video camera it was gonna show better but now I want to put it just the way that I would uh, place it so I know if it's working and I gotta say it's fine if uh, when you are doing this but to be honest I think I'm gonna I'm gonna buy uh, some extra lights. Uh, so when I need more visibility, I'll have uh, the option of just turning like like the same the same way that you have uh, on a, on a car. You have the high beams. So I definitely need something stronger. I gotta say, man, I love riding at night. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't do it on the main road because that would definitely be dangerous. But to do it here, this is this is nice. I think 
quick as you head back. So there you go guys, I, I, I think this was a better video for me to showcase the riding at night with the lighting. This is the stack light that comes with the bike. And for sure, I am gonna order uh, another one just to have it there in case I need more visibility and I need more uh, light uh, for driving. So I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs> Ciao.